It was safe to say that Nels Anderson had been drinking when he encountered the bear. Every time Nels drove his ranch wagon into Big Rock to pick up supplies, he always stopped at the Brown Dirt Cowboy Saloon to have a snort or two, or three, before heading back to his greasy sack outfit northwest of town. Smoke Jensen happened to be in the settlement that same day, having come in to send some telegrams related to business concerning his ranch, the Sugarloaf. A ruggedly handsome man of average height, with unusually broad shoulders and ash blonde hair, Smoke stood on the porch of Sheriff Monty Carson's office, propping one of those shoulders against a post, holding up the awning over the porch. The lawman was sitting in a chair, leaning back with his booted feet resting on the railing along the front of the porch. His fingers were laced together on his stomach, which was starting to thicken a little with age. At first glance, neither man looked like what he really was. Smoke was, quite probably, the fastest and deadliest shot of any man who had ever packed iron west of the Mississippi, or east of there, for that matter. As a young man, he'd had a reputation as a gunfighter and outlaw, although all the criminal charges ever levied against him were bogus, scurrilous lies spread by his enemies. These days he was happily married, and the owner of the largest, most successful ranch in the valley. In fact, the Sugarloaf was one of the finest ranches in all of Colorado. Smoke was more than content to spend his days running the spread and loving Sally, his beautiful wife. Despite that intention, Trouble still had a habit of seeking him out more often than he liked. At one time, Monty Carson had been a hired gun, a member of a wolf pack of colt men brought in by one of Smoke's mortal enemies to wipe out him and his friends. It hadn't taken Monty long to figure out who was really in the right and switch sides. He had been a staunch friend to Smoke ever since, even before Big Rock had been founded and he'd been asked to pin on the sheriff's star. Pearlie Fontaine, another member of that gang of gun wolves, had also changed his ways and was now the foreman of the Sugarloaf. Smoke couldn't have hoped for two finer, more loyal friends than Monty and Pearlie.